Hello everyone, this is a short tutorial on how to configure a hotspot using a DDWRT router. A hotspot allows us to provide free or paid internet access to the public. We often see hotspots in cafes and airports. Our basic setup consists of two laptops and a Linksys WRT 54G router that is already flashed with DDWRT. Laptop 1 is connected to the router through Ethernet and Laptop 2 is connected through Wi-Fi. The router also has an Ethernet wire plugged into its WAN port that provides internet access. We will begin by using Laptop 1 to log into the DDWRT router. Open the browser and type the IP address of the router which in our case is 192.168.3.1. By default, this IP address is 192.168.1.1. We have changed it to 3.1 in order to avoid IP address conflict with our backbone network. This is the page that we see whenever we log in to our DDWRT router. We are using the standard version 24 service pack 2. Along with DDWRT, we need some kind of a user authentication system that can manage a basic Wi-Fi hotspot. There are a number of different providers that we can choose from. Some of them are free, while others charge on a per account per hour basis. We will demonstrate both paid and free hotspot management providers. First, we demonstrate EngageHotspots.com, which is a paid management provider. We need to go to the website of EngageHotspots.com. Here, click on Create your hot free hotspot administrator account. It will direct you to a page that will ask you to fill a form to create an admin account. To save time, I have already filled this form in the next tab. Click on Create Admin. Now, select a location type. We will select school or university. And click on Add Hotspot. Once you have created an account, you have to log into the account. Once you log in, you will see this page. Click on Manage Hotspot. The next page will show you three links. The first link tells you what configuration details need to be entered in your DDWRT router. Let's click on that. Click on Configure DDWRT. This page shows all the configuration details that need to be entered in your DDWRT router. Let's go ahead and do that. The first time you enter your router, you need to enter your username and password, which is root and admin by default. Click on services, click on hotspot, we will use chili spot. Enable chili spot and enter all the details provided by engagehotspots.com. Once verified, scroll down and click on apply settings. The final step for configuring this hotspot is to restart your router. To restart your router, pull the power cable of the router and wait for 10 to 15 seconds before plugging it back in. Now let us go to laptop 2 and test if the hotspot works. On laptop 2, make sure that the router is connected to the DDWRT router. Now go to the browser and try to connect to google.com. You will see that you will be redirected to a page that will ask your account details. We have to create accounts for users from engagehotspots.com by using our admin account. Let us go back to PC1. We have to log in with our admin account. Click on Manage Hotspot. 
here select the third link which says print and sell prepaid cards for cash over the counter here we can create accounts on hourly or daily basis we can select the number of accounts and the number of hours per account let us select 20 and 0.5 hours click on create accounts here we can pay for the number of accounts that we are creating as we can see engage hotspot is one of the cheapest hotspot management providers next up let us look at a free hotspot providing service now let us see hotspot using sputnik sputnik is a wi-fi portal that is inbuilt in this version of ddwrt firmware sputnik is free for providing free internet access to users let us enter the router to configure sputnik click on services then click on hotspot now disable chili spot and enable sputnik keep the default settings on and click on apply settings now let us check if this hotspot works from laptop too Make sure that you are connected to the DDWRT router and try to connect to google.com from your browser. You will be redirected to a customized page which the users will see once they try to use the internet. Click on click to get online. On the next page, click on click for the requested page. You will be led to the page you requested. In this video, we saw two ways of configuring hotspot on a DDWRT router. I hope that it was informative and I would like to thank you for viewing.